Holy <laughs> I cannot believe we sold this thing. This almost five foot racket we just sold. I picked this up for $12.99 at Goodwill and I was not going to buy it. I literally took a picture of it for Instagram and then put it down and thought, you know, it's not just a funny piece, but I wonder if they're actually worth anything. WTF. <laughs> what is this? This thing I need to do more research on, but it legitimately sells for over $250. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna sell it yet, but I picked it up, so let's do it. And sure enough, they are. This was listed for about four weeks and it just sold for $325. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to plan on shipping this thing. I had no idea how I was going to ship it, so we're just going to put it on video and hope we don't mess up too bad. All right, so step one is, um, I don't even know where to start. What we're thinking is we had some of these styrofoams. So we're gonna take some of these flat styrofoams, cut them in the shape that the racket is in, uh, which my boy Ryan here is doing. And what we're going to do is just put those on each side of the actual mesh, the strings. That way it's gonna protect it. And then we're gonna take two Lowe's box, open up one of them so it's big flat lay put it in there and it's basically gonna be a sandwich. We're gonna put a second Lowe's box on top, but we're gonna bubble wrap it all first and just show you guys what we do. Check the link in the bio if you wanna get a hold of yours. All right, step two. Now that we have that covered, we're gonna take the bubble wrap, wrap this thing up to protect it even more. Bubble wrap, luckily this thing is extremely sturdy so I highly doubt this is gonna get damaged. Bubble wrap by itself, in my opinion, does not look great so we're gonna stretch wrap it to give it that tight seal. All right, almost end product. So you guys can see how we did a custom box here. So that main Lowe's box is laying on the bottom and you make enough extra to fold over the top. And then that top one is a second box is basically just acts as an insert. And then you guys probably saw I was showing Ryan how to do this. Instead of cutting it flush and then taping the corners, um, if you just make it so it pops inside of there, it's gonna be a lot more sturdy, especially on the corners. Now we go through, just tape along the seams and then we're gonna do some eBay tape along it, make it look a lot nicer, especially because we've got these little openings right here. So not too bad though. In case you guys need some comparison on just how big that is. How tall are you? I'm 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. That thing is 59 inches tall, almost exactly six foot. All right, luckily it does balance pretty well on our little scale here. 12, I'm putting 12.15 just to be safe. So now we're gonna hit update. It is 59 by 24 by five. Shipping is going to cost us $35. Ah, I was $5 off. FedEx ground. I'm gonna add some, a little bit extra signature confirmation stuff. So it's shipping will go up to a few bucks, but basically about 40 bucks to ship, not bad. After signature confirmation and extra insurance, $44, not too shabby. So now we're going to hit print label. That my friends is how you ship a very large tennis racket. Um, I was shocked when I actually looked up the comparison value on this. Um, I mean, they range between 250 and 500. So I priced it 500, it sat for a month, I dropped it to 325 and the thing sold. So at the end of the day, after my fees, my cost of goods, 
$12.99. And my shipping cost, which was about 40 bucks, we ended up making a $230 net profit on this guy right here. So it is a lot of extra work. That took me and Ryan, uh, how long did that take? Like took about a half hour to get this thing all done for you guys. But I thought it would make for a cool clip and it was just a really fun flip to be able to do. Huge shout out to my man, Ryan. Nice work. Definitely helped me out with this one, but that was a fun one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's great. He likes to do unique items right it's now. It's awesome. Yeah. Right now he's in the middle of cleaning old fishing reels and he loves it. So we're gonna keep finding some cool stuff like this. Um, I'm curious too, comment below. What is one of the biggest things that you have actually flipped and shipped out yourself or unique items like this one? I'm curious, comment below. Aside from that, it's been Chad's Side Hustle Network. Ryan. We gotta come yeah. up with <laughs> <laughs> I need a nickname. <laughs> I didn't tell him he was going to be in the video, so he's like, what? Yeah. Ryan, uh, we need to come up with an outro for you. <laughs> hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye, Racket. Bye, Ryan. It's heading off to its new home. This is actually what happened. <laughs> now we have to clean this place. <laughs> Bye, guys.